Okay, I got it to work. So hey, look at here, Doctor Strange. See that website? You ought to, you ought to go visit Doc Strange. He's a good guy. Oh, Bill Strange. So he sent me a package um, with some T-shirts and let's maybe remember a while ago like probably about seven or eight months ago I was working on this here art and it uh, it finally I can talk about it sometimes I can't talk about this stuff because it uh, it's for somebody's project you know and that's what this was but I wanted to kind of compare this original art to the printed art, which we'll do right now. So I'm gonna, here's the original and underneath it is the printed. So it's pretty close, man. It's pretty close. So what this turned into, I gotta set this over here for a second. Um, turned into a record and it's reflecting see um, so the record is for Monkey who everybody knows from the Addicts but if you read this here it says this is not a new Addicts record this is new punk rock from an all star lineup and I happen to know, let me see if I can fix this reflection here. I don't know if I can, maybe let's get rid of it. Um, I happen to know some of the people on here is James, Hard Slug, Harding, from the Skulls. I don't know why they call him Hard Slug. Maybe he punches real hard or something, but I've never, I'm sure I've annoyed him many times, but never to the point where he um, slugged me. I've been on sweaty tour buses with him and horrible weather and tornadoes and downpours and humidity in New York City and, and I poke at him and he never slugged me, so must have something to do with something else. Anyways, he's on here doing backup vocals with Monkey, and the infamous Kevin Preston is playing guitar on this. I'm going to bring back the original art because it's not so reflective, because this is synth shrink wrap. So, um, there, it's a little better as far as reflection goes. Maybe I can bring back my light now, too. Let's see. I'm going to... I got a little clippy light here. I just stick on the phone and it gives me light. So, um, yeah, so Kevin's on it. Kevin Preston of the infamous Prima Donna. And he also just got off a tour, or he might still be on it with Green Day playing guitar with them. And so, this is a great record. It's. Uh, I get to get the music before it comes out because I want to listen to the lyrics, right? And there's a lot of references in the art, and that's because I got to listen to it before. And uh, it takes forever for a record to come out now, so so uh, it's pretty cool. So me and James and Monkey have been talking for well over a year about getting together and. And doing like a video thing like this. So originally I was going to have guests and things, but uh, you know the COVID thing kind of screwed that up really bad. So so we just talked about it again, and we're going to do it because Monkey and James and all kinds of other musicians and music people I know they have so much other stuff going on, right? And, Monkey's got a profession, and I'm not going to even say what it is till I get him on, because it's really cool. He's he's got some really cool stories, and 
some cool photos I'd like to show, and and it's um, probably not what you think. If you know them really well, you know what it is. But uh, for most of you, most people are kind of uh, surprised when I tell him what I know that a monkey does. And James is always hustling all kinds of stuff, and and then Monkey's also a painter, and James is a, a radical musician and an artist, and uh, so I think it'd make an interesting thing just to get everybody together and kind of hang out and do some stuff. So other stuff that you've probably been watching me draw for a while. If you go to my Instagram, I'm always putting up little clips. And this is other projects I'm working on that I can't talk about. Except I can show you when I'm working on them. Because these are really my friends and my friends that work together. And, and this is something I'd be careful because there's a title on here I can't show yet. But um, this is something I'm currently working on. And we'll see more of it probably in about eight or nine months because that's how long it takes to get something out on vinyl now because everything's backed up, right? So um, you just got to wait, you know. There's only a couple plants left that make vinyl and they're too busy, so... Uh, so this is going to come out seven or eight or nine or ten months. I've got a record I did with Sean Wheeler, our dry heat thing. And I'll go back to this original. You can kind of see where it goes off the edges and everything, you see? Um, and then uh, um, our dry heat record, which we did the book... It's supposedly in transit, but I think it'll get stuck in... It can sit in customs for a long time, you know? So, because you can't... There's only a few record plants left in the United States, right? So, some of the stuff's made overseas and stuff, and uh, we wait and wait and wait. Um, so, uh, while we're on that subject, um, we're doing a dry heat event in Joshua Tree on December 4th. And my friend Rolo does this thing every year called the Cama del Diablo, which means burning of the devil. It's a Guatemalan tradition, and uh, you're supposed to burn the devil every year and cleanse your soul and start fresh. And uh, I think now they just burn garbage. They use it as an excuse to burn their trash. But that's where we're at as a civilization over things. I'm not sure about evolution, if it's going in the right direction. But uh, but whatever it's doing, it's doing. And uh, But our event is really cool. Rolo makes these giant paper mache demons. I mean, some of them are 10 feet tall. And and there's a, do a parade. We have bands. We have vendors and art and we're going to perform the dry heat thing out there, and there's a bunch of other cool musicians going to be out there too. So it's in the high desert, December 4th. So, and this is 2021. So I know this might play later, but uh, come out and hang out with us if you want to. Um, and Sean's in Mexico City right now doing some dry heat stuff down there and his other music. So. Sean Wheeler, my partner in Dry Heat, and uh, um, you should come check out one of the events because they're pretty cool. And I, actually, I was just talking to Doctor Strange, and uh, when the record is actually in our hands, we may go do something at his record store and do a performance there. And he's got uh, stages, and he live streams, so that would be really cool. So I don't know what I'm forgetting. I had to re-record this because I screwed up the first one. But uh, um, so support Doc Strange and Monkey, of course. They're awesome people, and um, everybody involved that I mentioned. And uh, I think we'll call this quits here. Let's end on the cockroach. He's groovy. 
I was smoking a joint or a cigar. Man. Oh, and he's a pretty cool guy, too. So if you listen to the record, you'll know who these people are. By the way, this record's really cool. I'm a little jaded, and I really, really dig this record. And there's a song about that dude right there that I really like. So um, check it out. Come hang out in the desert sometime. Come see one of our dry heat events, and I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. You didn't kill a bunch of animals or, or anything like that. I know turkeys get slaughtered like crazy, but hey, man, I know I eat some animals here and there, but uh, we got to be careful, right? Especially wild ones. All right. Everybody have a good one. Next one coming soon. Oh, yeah, subscribe. It helps. It makes other people get to see this stuff. And uh, I think the next one will be drawing a little more. All right. Checking out. See you later. Go see Doc Strange.